he's able to see the ships. And once he sees the ships, he tells everybody else. None of the natives were able to see the ships, even though they existed on the horizon. The reason that they never saw the ships was because they disappearing. I don't mean that we physically disappear. What I mean is, is that we move out of the area of the brain that has to do with our personality. It has to do with them to gain knowledge and information that will inspire them. They're so hypnotized by their environment through the media. Associations to people are associations chemicals for anger and there's chemicals for sadness and there's chemicals for victimization there's chemicals for lust there's a chemical that matches every emotional state that we experience and uh, they ask themselves if there is something more or why am i here what is the purpose of life where am i going what happens here may never really rise to the surface so they may want to be something else but if it does and we assemble them and the circles for anger and there's chemicals we for sadness and chemicals for victimization. There's chemicals for ourselves. love. There's a chemical that matches so every emotional state of the so hypnotized by their environment through the media associations of people are associated there's chemicals for anger and there's chemicals for sadness and there's chemicals for victimization there's chemicals for lust there's a chemical that matches every emotional state that we experience and uh, they ask themselves if there is something more or why am i here what is the purpose of life where am i going what happens to me so rise to the surface by so the environment something else through the media but if you don't and we assemble them there's chemicals for anger and there's chemicals for sadness and there's chemicals for victimization there's chemicals for love there's a chemical that matches every emotional state that we have and uh, they ask themselves if there is something more or why am i here what is the purpose of life where am I going? What happened to me? They never really rise to the surface, so they may want to be something else. But if it does, and we assemble them into certain neural we match patterns that already uh, exist within ourselves through conditioning. So, uh, I wonder if So I'm as surprised at my ability to be able to experience it. Chemicals for love. 
There's a chemical that matches every emotional state that you experience. And as they ask themselves if there is something more, or why am I here? What is the purpose of life? Gain knowledge and information. Where am I going? What happens when I may never really rise to the surface by the environment? Something else. The media, but it's in the people. And we assemble them. And there's chemicals for anger, and there's chemicals for sadness, and there's chemicals for victimization. There's chemicals for lust. There's a chemical that matches every emotional state that we And uh, they ask themselves if there is something more. Or why am I here? What is the purpose of life? Where am I going? What happens to me? I'll never really rise to the surface. So they may want to be something else. But if it does, and we assemble them into certain worlds. We match patterns that already uh, exist within ourselves. Conditioning. So, uh, I wonder if So, I'm as surprised at my ability to be able to experience that. Ships, even though they existed on the horizon. The reason that they never saw the ships was because they disappearing. I don't mean that we physically disappear. What I mean is, is that we move out of the area of the brain that has to do with our personality. It has to do with our attempts to gain knowledge and information that will inspire them. They're so hypnotized by their environment through the media, association to people, our associations, chemicals for anger and there's chemicals for sadness and there's chemicals for victimization there's chemicals for lust there's a chemical that matches every emotional state that we experience and uh, they ask themselves if there is something more or why am i here what is the purpose of life where am i going what happens to me never really rise to the surface so they may want to be something else but if it does and we assemble them is always colored by the experiences that we've had and an emotional response. If the brain is processing 400 billion bits of information and then our awareness is only on 2,000... ...as empty and matter as solid. But in fact, there is essentially nothing to matter whatsoever. It's completely insubstantial. Defined by the FBI in Washington, that's... Well, the chief of police went on television saying that look, it's going to take two years. I have about a hundred publications in this area, but perhaps I'm best known for the discovery of supersymmetric flipped SU5 grand unified field. Chemicals for anger, and there's chemicals for sadness, and there's chemicals for victimization. There's chemicals for lust. There's a chemical that matches every emotional state that we that assembles certain chemicals that matches certain emotions that we experience. And those particular chemicals are called catalytes. And we assemble them into certain neurons. Is that when the Indians, the 